Hello all, welcome to the SOLIDWORKS tutorial. In this video, I am going to show you how to model the elliptical trammel, then how to convert it into 3D printable file. In elliptical trammel, there are three parts. So we are going to draw one by one. Finally, we are going to convert it into 3D printable format. Open SOLIDWORKS, click new, create a new part. First, I am starting with the part number one. Select top plane. Click sketch and draw a square of side 100 mm. Go to smart dimensions and change the dimensions to 100 mm. Go to features, click extruded boss and extrude this to a height of 30 mm. Now click the top surface, click sketch, use Ctrl 8 to view it in the normal direction. Next draw two rectangles from the center, go to smart dimension, the rectangle width is 10 mm. Go to trim entities and trim the unwanted regions. Now go to features, click extruded cut and remove the material for 10 mm. Now save this as Part number one. Close this. Click new. Create a new part. Select the top plane. Click sketch. Draw a rectangle of size twenty five and ten mm. Now extrude this to a height of 10 mm. Click the top surface, click sketch. Draw a circle from the center. The circle diameter is 5 mm. Go to features, click extruded boss and extrude this to a height of 5 mm. Okay. Now save this as part number 2. Close this, click new and create a new part. Select the top plane, click sketch. Draw two circles. And in between that, draw another three circles. Go to smart dimensions and mark the dimensions. The outer circle Radius is given as 6 mm, so the diameter is 12 mm. Similarly, here also the diameter is 12 mm. The diameter of this circle is given as 9 mm. And the diameter of the remaining two circles are 5 mm. The horizontal distance between these two circles is given as 150 mm. And between these two circles is 40 mm. Now click control, select the center point of the three circles and make it as horizontal. Go to line and draw a connecting line between these two circles. Similarly draw another line here. Now go to trim entities and trim the extruded region. Go to features, click extruded boss and extrude this to a height of 5 mm. Now save this as part number 3. Now to assemble this, click new, create a new assembly. So 
So insert part number one. Now go to insert component and insert part number two. Okay. Now click control, select the part two, move it to get another part. Okay. Go to mate, the bottom surface of the slot and bottom surface of the slider make it as coincident similarly the two surfaces make it as coincident then here also select the bottom surface of the slot and the slider make it as coincident similarly the sides of the slider and the slot and make it as coincident now go to insert component and insert the part number three Go to mate, select the top surface of the box and bottom surface of the bar and click coincident. Now select the cylindrical surface of the bar and the slider and make it as concentric. Similarly here also the cylindrical surface of the slider and the bar and make it as concentric. Now we have assembled it so you can move it. You can see that this is plotting an ellipse so that is the purpose of the elliptical trammel the elliptical trammel is used to draw ellipse now to convert this into 3d printable format we have to convert each part separately we cannot directly convert it into stl format because we are going to 3d print individual parts so i am clip clicking first part use open part option now go to save us and save this into STL format. Now you can close this. Click the second part, choose open part and you can save us. STL file. Close this, similarly click the third part, open it and save it as a STL file. Now we have converted all the parts into STL files. Now you can copy the STL files into your 3D printer and you can 3D print it. So this 3D print is done by one of my students batch, so credits to them. You can print separate components and you can fix it to make it as an assembly. Thank you.